Once you remove the gas end cap, you can snap out the outer sleeve of the cooling barrel. There are no bolts holding it in place. Simply remove it and place it to the side. Next, use a mallet to tap loose the gas barrel from the end cap. The gas barrel assembly consists of the barrel and the piston rod. To separate these pieces, simply push down the barrel to expose the large end of the piston, then pull it free. The seal package for the gas piston is located on the large end of the piston. To access the seal package, remove the cotter pin from the end. Now unscrew the end cap and remove the bevel springs to access the packing pieces. The gas piston packing consists of the O-ring, seal, bronze backup, Teflon backup, and another bronze backup. All of these parts will be included in the gas section soft goods seal replacement kit. Pull off the packing to reveal an additional O-ring and Teflon seal. These will also be included in the replacement kit. Remove the used packing seals from the end cap and replace them with the new parts from your seal kit. When reassembling this section, notice that the surface of the end cap is concaved in. The seal parts also have alternating flat and concave surfaces and must be assembled in the proper order. Refer to your Haskell drawing for proper part number and order of the seals. Also included is the cut ring bearing, which has a slot on one side. When this slot is worn all the way through, the bearing needs replacement. Be sure to check the slot on the cut ring bearing. Next, replace the eight bevel springs onto the end cap. These eight springs need to be installed alternating with bevel up and bevel down to provide proper spring action for a tight seal. Refer to your drawing for proper part numbers and order of the parts. Replace the small o-ring on the piston shaft and lubricate it before installing other parts. Next, slide on the assembled packing making sure you do not cut or twist the o-ring. Replace the cut ring bearing. And finally, replace the bevel springs and end cap. Screw the end cap down until all pieces are making solid contact. You do not need to tighten this section until later in the reassembly process. The gas barrel has a seal ring that needs to be removed using pliers. Once removed, you can access the inner parts. On gas barrel assemblies that are 15 ratio, you need to remove the gas barrel bushing by using a long non-abrasive object made of wood or plastic to prevent scratching the inner surface of the piston. Gently tap the bushing out of the shaft until you can pull it free. Remember, this bushing is specific to gas barrel assemblies that are 15 ratio. No other models feature this part. As you remove the bushing, remove all other O-rings and seals as well. Be sure to take note of the order of the seals and O-rings for reassembly. You can also refer to your Haskell drawing for these specifications. All parts of the gas section seal replacement kit will be provided along with instructions including the o-ring, lip seal, other seals, and backups for the end cap, and the o-ring and soft goods for the piston rod. Be aware that the piston rod bearing and all other hard parts, including the other bearing on the piston end, are not part of the gas section seal replacement kit and will need to be ordered separately. During the gas section reassembly process, be sure to inspect the piston rod for pitting and scratches. Be sure to clean the piston rod well with a non-abrasive cloth before reinstalling. Also inspect the interior diameter of the gas barrel for scores and scratches as well. This entire process should be repeated for all pistons on the unit. To reassemble the inner parts of this section, refer to your instructions for part numbers and proper order of parts. We also suggest using a vise to hold these parts in place to aid in the reassembly process. Insert the O-ring and lip seal into the gas barrel bushing. Next, add the spacer and another lip seal and O-ring, followed by the bearing. Now insert the reassembled bushing into the gas barrel. Push the bushing all the way down into place. Add the other spacer and then insert the spring ring using needle nose pliers. Remember to always wear safety glasses when dealing with spring rings as they can sometimes fly off in any direction. Note that if you have a double-ended unit, you'll need to repeat this process for both gas piston and rod assemblies. Now you have reassembled the gas barrel assembly. Next, 
Take hold of the assembly for insertion. Remember, the resealed end assembly on the piston should only be hand tight at this point. Insert the piston into the barrel. Make sure you push the piston in enough so that the seal is below the edge of the gas barrel before you tighten down the nut on the end gas piston assembly. Use a flathead screwdriver to tighten down the T-nut until the surface of the nut is flush with the end of the piston rod. Then adjust the nut so that the holes line up to allow for cotter pin insertion. Once the holes are lined up, you can insert the cotter pin. Next, fold the legs of the cotter pin to secure the nut. When folding the legs of the cotter pin, it's extremely important to compress the folded legs so they do not protrude beyond the outer edge of the nut, nor above the top edge of the T-nut. Failure to do so can cause severe damage. Pull the bottom of the piston rod out three quarters of the way to prepare for reinsertion. Using a bench vise makes this process much easier. This is the proper position for the piston for reassembly into the gas drive section. Next, insert the gas barrel into the casting. Now use the cooling sleeve to help push the piston into proper position. These parts should snap into place. Insert the resealed gas end cap onto the four tie rods. Next, slide the air piston onto the piston shaft. Secure it with the new cotter pin provided with your seal replacement kit. Now apply and tighten the washers and nuts to the ends of the four tie rods. These four nuts should be tightened to the torque requirements recommended in your instructions. Always use the cross torque method to tighten this section. Once this is properly torqued down, you can reposition the unit to reassemble the main air barrel section. Lubricate the interior of the large air barrel section before reinsertion. Now attach the top and bottom castings by inserting the piston into the air drive. Insert the connecting cotter pin and fold over the legs. Next, push together the two parts of the gas section assembly, making sure that the flow tube and the pilot tube are properly aligned. Once this is in place, you can insert the bottom brackets and top handles. Attach the other handle. Simply hand tighten these sections for now. Once these sections are in place, reposition the unit sideways for further reassembly. Now tighten the tie rods using the cross tightening method according to the torque requirements provided in your reseal kit instructions. Reinsert the L-shaped cooling tube and tighten down the connectors. Next install the intercooler assembly. Note that some models may only have a single piece of tubing. Tighten all connections according to the torque requirements provided in the instruction and check all connections with bubble soap to assure a tight seal. This concludes the reassembly process of the 5 and 3 quarter air drive gas section.